friends, welcome to Tori Talks TV and welcome to our Fab Five. Okay, so this Fab Five, everyone, is the most memorable images or shots from Game of Thrones. All of Game of Thrones, which is like only like one of the best TV shows ever. The entire series. Yeah. Five shots. Five That's it. That's images. all we had to choose from. Isn't that sad? That's so easy. There were like tons millions and tons. I, like it was it was difficult but we did narrow it down to five we don't know each other's five so i'm kind of excited to know the big reveal okay so dr s can you go first i'll go first okay okay so my number five is from season two episode two entitled the night winds okay and um just to give a little context this comes right after we see um all of robert baratheon's bastards being killed remember the oh, little geez. The baby? Yes. Okay, so the baby was the baby of one of the prostitutes that Robert Baratheon, like, went to, I guess, frequent in the brothel? Yes. And so that prostitute was a little traumatized by the fact that her baby was just killed and Obviously. so couldn't perform quite well. And so her patron was upset by the fact that he paid all this money and she was crying. Right. So Littlefinger pulls a different prostitute and so the shot that I'm talking about is when she has, like, some semen dripping down her face. Oh, jeez. Do you remember this? Yeah. And he, like, wipes it off and then sends her to go make up for the poor performing prostitute. And so that shot. Okay. That's the shot that I find to be very memorable. And, well. And, and I get it. I needed to go away. Right? So I had actually forgotten about that. <laughs> Thank but, you for reminding me. Okay. No, no. I get why you chose that because it is one of the most memorable. You images. remember it, right? Now I do. Okay. Yep. Yeah. yeah, it's interesting, Dr. S, because like when we were like given this topic for Fab Five, yeah. chosen by, you know, our lovely director, um, <laughs> I interpreted it a little differently. Oh. So I may have gone in a little bit of a different direction because um, okay. <laughs> my number five is from season eight and it's when Drogon sets fire to the throne. Oh. I was just thinking about literally like imagery. Like it was uh, beautiful the way it was done. Like seeing Drogon set fire to the true reason why his mom is dead. And instead of like, because I was so convinced that like he was going to kill John, who mm -hmm. just killed his mom. Yeah. No, he killed, killed <laughs> A quote unquote killed the throne the real thing that is responsible for her death yes. right because she wanted the throne so badly so i just thought it was beautifully done and it was well illustrated it was yeah You're, i get it it was a symbolic right so like, he like burned the throne it's done his mother right exactly and then he just he took his mama and he flew away I see what you did there. Oh, sweet thing. Yeah. So, yeah. you know, it's up to your own interpretation. Right. Memorable, right. memorable shot. And it, they're both memorable. Yeah. So it doesn't matter. I remember both of them. I, I vividly. <laughs> Do. Yes. Both of them. All right. So let's move on to our number four. So what's your number okay, four? Okay. So my number four is from season one, episode five. And it is coincidentally like my first <laughs> shot. Yes. Also having to do with bodily fluids on someone's oh, face. Oh, Lord. I'm so sorry to say that it is the scene in which we meet uh, Robin Aaron and Liza Aaron. And he is suckling at her teeth. Oh, jeez. That shot! Oh, you're but right. But especially of the milk on his face. Oh, my God. I don't know why. No. It's in my memory. I get and it. And therefore a memorable shot that I wish I didn't have to remember, but I do. He's we, like 10 Okay, hey, that's true. We don't often see 10 year olds breastfeeding i've never seen it okay the only like, time probably never so maybe well, that's why i remember it it's a shock to our and system have added to my list of most memorable shots i see where you went with this <laughs> <laughs> i'm getting it now i get your point of view yeah, yeah. um you know you remember it caught too. me off guard you'll never forget it no. and like i mean i guess that's kind of what's cool about game of thrones is that like they went there they're not afraid to go there yeah yes. okay take us there with them Mm. but there to deal with the trauma they sure did so again we obviously went in different directions because my number four is from season six and it's when hodor is holding the door hold the door hold this the door. sweet moment oh my gosh so not only do we learn how hodor got his name but like he like is the hero of yeah. this episode yes like he 
is there and the White Walkers are attacking and he's like saving Bren like he always does and he's mm -hmm. our sweet gentle giant and it's one of the saddest deaths and is. is he not like this one of the sweetest characters if not the sweetest characters maybe a future Fab Five I don't know mm -hmm. but I'm just saying we love Hodor and like it was just sad to see this yes. and I'll never forget it and that haunts me because I mean I didn't want him to go, but look how he went. That is Heroically. A, that's definitely a memorable image. Yeah. Hold oh. the door. Sweetie pie. Yeah. All right. Okay. Can we move on? Because my heart is broken. So let's go to our number threes. Okay. So What's probably not going to bring the tone up that much just yet. Okay. But my number three is from season three, episode nine. It's entitled The Reigns of Castormere. Oh, jeez. It's, um, you know, some people refer to it as the Red Wedding. <laughs> But in particular, the shot I would like to focus upon, and then hopefully in revealing it to you, erase it from my memory, <laughs> is the scene in which they stab, the Frey men stab Talisa in her baby belly. Jeez. Did you have to do that? No. I have never. No. I don't even want to know that anybody would ever do this no. in life, in the history of life. I like the way it's Who shot. Who would do this? No. You don't see it coming. No. Like, you know things are happening, but like, he just goes over without warning a bam Boom, like right. shoots what who stabs her you know in... you could kill her and the baby would die right you don't need to stab her in the belly you went too far Where the baby is you went too far it's too far you're right that is i memorable. am not a, i am not i'm pretty open yeah you i'm know okay what? with a lot of i think of i blocked these out i can't for remembering that all is this and then terrible making me remember them period full stop terrible why did you i'm so that? sorry but it's like, but it is why we love Game of Thrones, because they... This Fab Five is like therapy for me. I, I hope that in revealing them, they whatever can works, you know. live from my brain. That's fine. I'm okay with it. Okay. I'm just going to be in denial, and I'm going to move on to my number three. <laughs> Most memorable okay. image or shot from Game of Thrones, which is from season one. Let's, okay. just, let's just bring it back a little mm -hmm. bit. Um, so this is when Danny emerges from the ashes, and she's got her baby oh, dragons. Yeah. We get to meet the dragons for the first time, and she becomes the mother of dragons for the very first time. So, you know, we don't know what to make of her character mm -hmm. at first, you know, when she was, like, sold to the Dothraki by her brother. Anyway, so, like, it's really cool to see her come into her own, yeah. and she, like, walked through fire, man. <laughs> like, we get to discover her strength, yeah. and this is really where you become, like, really interested and intrigued and in, like, where her character's gonna go. Yeah. So, just that image, I was like... Whoa, mm -hmm. I want to root for her. That's a I big love deal. her. Yeah, it really like sets the tone for this and it it's a game changer, guys. Yeah. yeah. Good one, right? Yes, that's a good okay. one. It's inspiring. <laughs> I think I so. Like that one. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So let's move on. And I'm really excited to see what you chose for number two because this has been fun so far. So my number two okay. is actually kind of connects to your number three. Oh, okay. So yours is like the birth of Danny's Dragon. Yeah. Mine is like the rebirth. It's when we see Viserion reborn oh. as a white walker dragon. Okay. Wow. So you remember that scene? How could you not? Uh, no, seriously. You remember it. So he has like fallen into like the ice water. Mm -hmm. And oh, that's really sad. This and almost made my list. They like bring him up by the chains. But the shock is like when his eyes close and then boom, it opens. No. And it's it's blue. It's another game changer because, like, it's blue. No, it's blue. No. Right? Because, like, you know that, like, the, the <laughs> yeah, it's not the, good. The Night King it's like bad. got him, shot him out of the sky, and we're like, okay, so dragon down, right? You know, oh, it's, it's not done. That. No, they pull, and like when you see them pull, like the White Walkers pulling him out of like the frozen lake, we're like, okay, I don't know what you're doing. You're gonna like give him a burial? What are you doing? Then no, then all of a sudden, bang, boom. The eye opens and it's blue. You're like, you are not a White Walker dragon. That is not. Yeah, I am. It's not going to be good. What's going to happen? Yeah. <sighs> we didn't expect that. Didn't see that coming. Very oh, good one. Go. Literally almost made my list. Okay. Very, very good one. So okay. let's go to my number two. Yes. Okay. So this is from, again, season eight. Okay. And this is when Sansa gets her crown. <sighs> okay. Let's just talk about this because... If you recall the very first season, like the very first episode, mm -hmm. she talks about how she wants to become a queen. Mm -hmm. And she did it. Yes. She went through so much to become a queen. And I'm going to be honest, I wasn't rooting for her at first. No. I was like, you're annoying. Okay, <laughs> like, 
Yeah. You need to stand on your own. Mm-hmm. You need to figure yourself out and don't depend on a man. You don't need a man. But like, that's what she was all about with like marrying Joffrey. And it turns out like everything she went through got her to this. And like yeah. when they show her like walking and then they like see the, the they show the crown being put on her head, like that shot was like everything to me. I, I was cried. so happy for I cried. Like, How could you not? Tears. And she deserved it. It was, yeah, rightfully deserved by Sansa. So it was very memorable to me because she, she deserved it. <gasps> okay, let's move on. Okay, everybody, we're going to reveal the number one most memorable image or shot from Game of Thrones. What's your number one? Okay, so my number one is from season one, episode one. Whoa, what? I know, way back. Let's go way back. What? It's the final scene. Shot. Okay. It's the shot. Yes. It's when Jamie pushes Bran out the window. Oh, jeez. Oh. Okay. So, as you recall, <laughs> he's like, get, Jamie's like getting it on with Cersei. And His Bran, sister. Bran's like, oh, climbing. But that doesn't look right. Yeah. And it's like that final image where Jamie's like, looks. he looks at Cersei and he's like, oh, pushes him out the window. The things we do for love. The things we do for yeah. love. You really get to understand the Lannisters. They like, are like no joke. They are ruthless. They are ruthless and they will push children out windows. They push a small child out of a window. There's nothing this show won't do. And it's like interesting like looking back because like to see where Bran like goes, like his character, like where he started from. First episode of the whole series. Amazing. It is actually very memorable because like that kind of like gets things it, it gets things going. Sure does. <laughs> yeah, no, that's a really, really good one. Okay. Ugh. Well, let me go in my direction. <laughs> so my number one most memorable image or shot from Game of Thrones is from the last season again, season eight. And it's when our homie Arya is flying at the Night King, ready to take him out. So I always watch Game of Thrones, obviously, but I'm usually with somebody. This was the first time I had watched it by myself. And I was like, okay, I got this. And I was like, it looked like everybody was defeated. It looked like everybody was going down. Like, it was the end of, like, the living. <laughs> and then here he is. He's, like, taking out his, like, whatever spear. He's ready to get Bran. And then out of nowhere, very well done, by the way, the shot of her just, like, leaping at him with her little sword dagger looking thing. Mm-hmm. And I was like, wait, where did you come from? And, like, obviously she defeats him. But just her, I mean, whether, I don't know. We didn't know which way it was going to go. But I was like, are you serious? Arya, you, that was awesome. So, yeah, that was very memorable to me. Obviously, the most memorable shot of Game of Thrones. Yeah. Like, our little Arya, our little warrior, she defeated the Night King. That was so cool, right? Triumphant. She's so brave. She is. (laughs) Anyway, wow. So, didn't know how it was going to go. But it was memorable. You know, this stuff five was just memorable, to it be honest was. with you. Yeah. So, <laughs> hey, everybody, please comment and let us know what you thought of our Fab Fives. And also let us know what your top five would be. I would most love memorable to know. Images or shots from Game of Thrones. Yep. Yeah. All right. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. We will see you next time. Bye-bye.